everyone. Welcome to Do It Yourself Bamboo Furniture. I'm Dan. The bamboo furniture guy. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, it's nighttime. This is my first night video. This is the first night I've been able to record, possibly do some work. It's a Saturday, so there's like birthday parties and everyone's doing karaoke, but I'm on the roof. I can, I can hopefully knock something out. I actually need to make a, uh, a wall. I, I think I talked about the wall project before. Um, what I was trying to do was like a weaving thing, which was fine. It was working. Uh, but uh, I didn't have enough uh, bamboo shoots. I have recently gone to the supplier, got some more bamboo. But when I was there, I found something. That is a uh, bamboo weave, like a wall weave. It's like a pre-made, I mean, it's not pre-made. I mean, they make it, I can only imagine they make it by hand. I didn't ask the guy. Just cut a hole in the cement wall for uh, my air con, my air conditioner. I, for some reason, I also drool. I drool like crazy. Uh, but when I'm cool, nice and cool at night, there's no drool. But Hot and sweaty, <laughs> something the hot and sweaty dream just pull out weed. So I'm, it's, it's gonna be a super simple thing. Four supports, right? Four semicircle supports, bamboo weed on the front, quarters or eighth slices as a front and a back. Eighth, eighth piece, eighth, and that border will sit on a small single piece of bamboo with a channel drill that I'm cut out. Frames made of one and a half to two inch uh, semicircles or halves and then that roll out weave. The height of my room is 90, 96, 96 inches. So I'm going to cut some 98 inch pieces and put them in the room that will cut off the airflow, let the air con be more efficient, use less le electricity, and uh, everyone's happy. Most of all, my pillows, because they don't have any drools. That's the video, that's what's happening. Walls for Nipah huts and things like that for decoration, they're super cool. They just come in a big old roll at night so I can sleep. I'm sweating everywhere. When I sweat at night, I, for some reason, I also drool. I drool like crazy. Uh, but when I'm cool, nice and cool at night, there's no drool. But when I'm hot and sweaty, <laughs> something, the hot and sweaty dream just clogs. Pretty bad. It's not good. So, air con. Um, tonight, just a test case. You know, all I did was put out the angle grinder. Put on the cutting, the wood cutting head. I will cut the one, two, three. I will cut three 1.5 two inch pieces of bamboo, split those in half, and they will be the support for that weave, that roll out weave. So I'm, it's, it's going to be a super simple thing. Supports, right? Four semicircle supports, bamboo weave on the front, and then around the edge uh, will be two quarters or eighth slices as a front and a back. Eighth, eighth piece, eighth. Is it not inch? It's just an eighth of the. What is an eighth? Twenty? Fifteen percent? I need to figure that out. I need to figure out what to call it. A piece of bamboo sliced in the eighth. Two eighths will be a quarter. One quarter. Two eighths will be the front and the back uh, border around the wall. And that border will sit on a small uh, 
single piece of bamboo with a channel drill that I'm going to cut out. And that would be the sliding rail. Simple, super simple. Thinking about the top rail, this bamboo, my plan is to put it all the way up to the ceiling. So I'm hoping friction does the rest. I don't want to put a top rail, try to bolt bamboo to the ceiling, or to the cement ceiling of my house. It's cinder block. I don't actually know what it is. It's, it's corrugated metal with, <laughs> with a bunch of cement on top. But I'm not fucking with that ceiling, so uh, the, the, it'll just have the track on the bottom, a border made of eighth pieces, four uh, support frames made of one and a half to two inch uh, semicircles or halves, and then that rollout weave. The height of my room is 90, 96. 96 inches. So I'm going to cut some 98 inch pieces and put them in the room and that will cut off the airflow, let the air con be more efficient, use less le electricity and uh, everyone's happy. Most of all my pillows because they don't have any drools. That's the video. That's what's happening. Alright, so looking at this, this is the bamboo I bought. It's got a bundle, it is a box. Might have been two forty. So it cost me either four or five dollars for ten pieces of this. However, it's not all it's about two inches. Each one of my segments is an inch. It's about two inches on the big side that carries through to maybe here. Strong taper every section down to the end. Where it's like not even not even one whole inch, right? Um, so basically it's like 240 chairs, tables, beds. They make bamboo furniture, they just, they don't make what I'm making. Um, more utilitarian, less artistic. So, no, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very artistic stuff. There's artistic stuff in there. They make bamboo furniture, which is like the cheapest kind of furniture you can get here. So, I buy this retail from them. I don't want to do that anymore. Getting their supply, their supplier, getting the phone number to their supplier. It's like, it's like pulling teeth. So I spend a little bit. So, this roll is tight. You know, gotta let the bamboo sit and dry because when you first cut it, whatever, it's full of water. You let it sit for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. It will dry and shrink, shrink into its shape. So I guess they cut it when it's, so, you know, they weave it when it's soft, then they roll it up and let it dry. And it dries, it shrinks, gets tight. So this roll, take the post, attach it to the, attach the roll to these uh, semicircle stalks. 
uh, in my head, I was like, oh, just bang, 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 hit some nails. But I can't unroll this in order to get it flat, posi get it flat, position it, hold in there. Bah, I, I don't, can't. If I had a nail gun, I could leave it rolled, position my stock within the roll, and t -t 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 get it done. But I don't have a nail gun yet. Maybe that's the thing. I never envisioned myself using nails to make any of the things I make. And this is a fairly simple and complex build. Um, and I have already started. If I had not started, if I could have foreseen this circumstance, I would have not cut these semicircular all the way. I would have uh, cut out channels, aluminum wire, and with the aluminum wire I will just tie, I will tie So this is uh, <clears throat> semi-finished panels. Now I know it looks like a wreck, and admittedly it's pretty wrecked, but but I learned a whole lot, all right? So this first one, this was the first one I did. You know, struggle with the unrolling everything. You saw the build video. <clears throat> I cut quarters. And then I did the normal way that they would do uh, and them to go square in such a way that it keeps the entire structure straight. It doesn't allow this curve. It allows this curve because this ends too soon. It doesn't stretch out far enough. It doesn't give enough support. There's no middle crossbar, right? Whereas that one is quarters for structure. This is whole rods split in half then you sandwich them and then you just tie them at strategic points throughout slide the bar down tie it in place put the bar on the side some decorative in the middle done structurally complete simple no muss no fuss so i will finish this uh new one you know, adjust the bars, add some on the side, some decorative in the middle. Uh, and then and then finally I'll complete the slide. You can kind of see the beginnings of the uh, slide rail. This, because it's warped, because it curves, it pushes against the rails, wants to derail itself. So I had to add these beams 
These are just unused quarters or unused semicircle halves to keep this standing up right. But that's it. Uh, no video this time of what I did, just pictures. There are pictures of everything though. And hopefully this is very next time or next video. This will be <laughs> a nice sliding wall. Oh, also, look, as I'm dragging this big old thing out of here, I realize that's fully bendable. Like, I'm pulling it and I fold it and it's, I just, it just thing struck me. I'm like, that's how. So, as you guys know, on the roof of the building is my proposed workshop, but I've really been struggling with how to make, how to cover it. Um, look at that. That's perfectly round semicircle with two bars. Now, right now, those two bars are vertical. Imagine they're horizontal. Two horizontal bars. Mouth uh, join joineries. Two fish, fish mouth joining um, with the support legs. And that's basically all I need is something to keep the sun off my back, as you can tell, because I'm like a glob of sweat. That's it. I just need something to keep the sun off me while I do my work. That's the bamboo arch right there. So I'm not going to use this anymore <laughs> to make a door. Fuck that door. This is a roof now. That's it. So as you can see, there is no... <laughs> bamboo here except for that cross bar. When I said fuck that door, I meant it. I'm done with that door. But you be sure to like and subscribe for weekly videos, how to do it yourself, all of that. Hit the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. You're gonna see everything I make. I hope you learned something because bamboo is it's awesome, and uh, you can make stuff. It grows anywhere. You can, you can use it, I, and I suggest you do. But I hope you don't. I hope you use my bamboo. It's my bamboo. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Do it yourself bamboo furniture everywhere. Um, to get some stuff. Peace.